Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to talk about Miss Carly Russell. Now, if you're not familiar with the story, Carly Russell is 25 years of age. She's from Alabama. And last Thursday, she went missing after allegedly spotting a child on I-459. And she went missing sometime between the hours of 9 and 10 p.m. She returned on Saturday evening at her parents' house. And when she was asked where she was, she said that she was at a hotel. Carly Russell then gave a story of being kidnapped after spotting a child on I-459 and stopping to assist the child. But later, it was discovered that she stole money from her job, allegedly, which she put in her socks, and other items was taken from her job. Not only that, after she left work, she went to Target to pick up some snacks. Now, at the spot where she called 911 and then a relative and she was heard screaming, when the police visited the spot, they could find Carly Russell's wig, cap, phone, purse, but the snacks were nowhere in sight. Since then, she has been labeled as a liar because there's no evidence of a kidnapping. And as such, social media has been going off on Carly Russell. Carly has been, you know, replying saying that people need to stop bullying her. But the reality is people are upset because many people have been traumatized by, you know, the reports of her disappearance, only to find out that just before she disappeared, she was Google searching stuff like um, if you have to pay for Amber Alert, how to steal money from a cash register taken, and all of that jazz. So many people are pissed at her decision. Now, today... A woman posted on, um, I believe this is Twitter, it, right? The woman said that, Carly, I am mad at you. As messed up as it sounds, you had to do what you needed to for self-preservation. The Bible says, you without sin shall cast the first stone. May the Lord be with you and all the families deeply affected by this situation. So it is said that Carly Russell liked this post. Now, yes, you have to do what you have to do for self-preservation, but are people realizing that Carly Russell could have single-handedly caused other people their mental well-being and she could potentially cause a lot of people their lives because there was one mom who daughter whose daughter went missing, but her daughter did not return home. That woman came out of her home, came out of mourning to help look for Carly Russell. We have people like Mama Thought who lost her son. So she caused a lot of pain and trauma on a lot of people. Not only that, she also made the police department waste their resources looking for her when she wasn't missing. There were other alternatives that Carly Russell could have taken if she wanted to self-preserve without wasting the police department resources because we know that oftentimes the police are saying that they need money to investigate and to, you know, get the necessary tools, the equipment to ensure that they do an an effective investigation. Not just that, there are actual people who are actually missing that Carly Russell took away from. And chances are, if it hadn't been for her, someone else who really and truly needed it could have been saved. So if you ask me, bullshit, hogwash, and I believe that Carly Russell should be thrown behind bars. She needs to be held accountable and should not be allowed to get away with this. She should be set as an example because we had Justice Smollett who did the same thing. Now here comes Carly Russell. And as such, I believe that she should be made an example 
off because these things should never be encouraged. They are never okay. You want to take some time, go ahead, run away, but do not involve the police and fake a kidnapping. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are about Carly Russell liking a tweet that was shared by a woman coming to her defense. While you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up, share if you care. See you all later. Bye guys.